And welcome back, folks. In the last episode, I demonstrated to you how easy it is to get yourself killed in this game. So let's try to avoid getting killed. Let's try to make some progress. We are still not at ground level. So we have to somehow get this elevator working again. Which is out of order. Nothing happens. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look at the personal stuff first. We are Steven Reich, and we live apparently in Bellevue Gardens. And we have link status 5. And we recently bought some exotic fishes. A car or a bicycle and a subscription for what appears to be a magazine about bikes. Okay, so that's all fine and dandy, but not that useful for making progress. Worried about your future. We offer fully comprehensive policies to safeguard your status. Well, it appears that the status is something very important in this society. Why is Betty the center of attraction? She is wearing the latest in fashion. Bake like lip plates, supplied and fitted. House of Marat. Yeah, and Plastic surgery seems to be a very profitable enterprise in this future. The club in the park, St. James. When you get there, you will know you've arrived. St. James Club. Suspicious of your neighbors? Turn your paranoia to hard cash. Contact neighborhood watch scheme. Hmm. Amaze your friends with our accessories. Save Hermaphro... What? Save Hermaphro surgery techniques. Burke's biosurgery. Does it mean you... You could turn yourself into an hermaphrodite or... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting perspective. I've always wanted to be a hermaphrodite. That must be pretty useful, pretty handy. But alas, we shall move on. How about loonies at it again? It has been confirmed that the introduction of a mis mystery virus into Link was the work of left-wing activists from Hobart City. The virus caused an error which led to the termination of over 32 residents of East Park Block. Maybe this is what our capture was about. Maybe they think that we installed a virus into a link, even though we haven't. Probably. Property theft figures saw. The removal of items of clothing from an office suit in Wilberforce Park brings the number of incidents reported this month to seven. You can tell they are having some security problems. Security services have issued, issued a warning to the businesses in the area to be vigilant. Hobart embargo forces rationing. Following the recently imposed trade embargo, if you mean by trade embargo killing all residents of Hobart City, with an atomic bomb, then measures have probably been introduced to ration food supplies. The daily allowance for workers below status 3 
is reduced by 40%. Executive, executive eateries will no longer serve croutons. Oh, that will be quite hard on them. Executives. Judge come down on youth. Plans to end violent crime in the East Park block have met with link approval. Judge Shutney, the man behind the new laws, described the crackdown as long overdue. Offenders are to be removed from to Camp Marseille for re-education. I think re-education means killing. Or brainwashing. Probably not re-education. Just a guess. Delicatessen sold recycled produce. The owner of a burger bar in Automotive Junction was fined $2,000 for selling food products which contravened official regulations. Analysis showed that the burgers contained an unacceptably high level of human waste. Ugh. Reminds me of the movie Soil and Green. Okay, that were all the articles, all the news in the Gazette. Let's look at the Union City news. We've, no, oh, I think we've read that. Um, let's go into security services. Okay, it seems to be a retina problem here. Maybe we can fix that. Too bad we didn't steal Rai's eyes either. Maybe his glasses will do. Uh, no. There's something. Hmm. How can we get off this level, Joey? We need to find an elevator. Unless you're prepared to jump. Okay, apparently not everything here has a description. Um, a description by sound, I mean. Okay, that's not getting us anywhere. Oh, that's a cable. A loose cable. Now that could be very useful. Yeah, it could be useful indeed. But I think we don't have the right tools to cut cut that cable loose. Hmm. That doesn't look like a pretentious new shell for Joey then. I don't know what. It's a robot welder. Joey would love that shell. Yeah, he would indeed. Do you want a new shell, Joey? Do you mean that welder? That's right. You like it? I'll say. It's the Mutt's Nuts. The shell can't be removed while the robot's active. Hmm. You're probably right about that. So let's try to deactivate it. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm checking the pipes. They have to be perfect. That's ridiculous. If they have to be perfect, they should be checked by a robot. <laughs> What's that? He's my mechanoid chum, Joey. It's cute. Does it do tricks? Not really. He just follows me around and gets in my way. And has an extendable prop, which might be uh, useful. How do I get down to ground level? 
Take the elevator. Or the big jump, I guess, for it. The elevator's not working. Oh, great. Lamb will be furious. If he can't get down to Bellevue for his lunch. Hmm. Has security been in here? Yeah, they really stirred up. I think they were looking for someone. Look, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Supervisor's orders. I'm transferring you, lass. I wish you wouldn't call me that. My name is Anita. Don't answer back, woman. <laughs> Report to the testing room immediately. What a douche. What are you doing here? Do you know who I am, lad? I've no idea. I don't work here. <laughs> I'm Gilbert Lamb, the supervisor. Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? I'm just a random guy who likes to poke into other people's business. Hmm. Let's go with security. Security! Looking for a fugitive. This factory has been searched already. He's not here! Can't be too careful. Just don't interfere with production. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Yeah. I think we might have caused Anita some trouble. We definitely have caused Anita some trouble. Hey! You'll need a rad suit if you're going in there! Hey, what do you mean? This one is totally rad! <laughs> I mean protective clothing. Oh. Well, if that's what we what's required, then I think I have to reconsider. Hmm. Maybe let's let's try to. The display is incomprehensible. To you at least, but maybe not to Joey. Never mind. It's a robot welder. Yeah, I know that. Joey would love that shell. We have to stop the production. Nope. Quite no. Let's talk to this guy again. Excuse me. Any intruders to report? Any intruders to report? No, sir. Hey, just a minute. Who are you? <laughs> Security. Security. I suppose you're looking for the intruder. Of course. Yeah. Seen anything suspicious? I've been too busy with this rush job. <laughs> I can see that. Don't you get bored working here? Don't you get bored working here? Well, not me. I like my job. What's so good about it? It's clipboard for starters. <laughs> Look at the finish on that plastic. Lovely piece of lamination. Isn't it just? I can tell you're proud of it. Oh, yes. They don't make clipboards like this anymore. Yeah, we will continue to indulge in discussions about clipboards when we come back from So, until next time, folks. Until then. <laughs>